Hello students, I am Shinolan. Life is a combination of sadness and happiness. Similarly, a sentence is a combination of a subject and a predicate. In today's class, let us learn what is a subject and what is a predicate. We have discussed earlier that a sentence is a group of words which gives complete sense. Now, we are dividing sentence into two parts, subject and predicate. Subject is the naming part and predicate is the telling part. Let's learn what is a subject. The subject of the sentence is whom or what the sentence is about. For example, Ashok studies well. This sentence is about Ashok. So, Ashok is the subject here. And another example, the coach and the players were playing in the ground. This sentence is about the coach and the player. So, the subject is the coach and the players. And another example, the big palm tree blocked the view. In this sentence, we are talking about the big palm tree. So, here the big palm tree is subject. Now, let us learn. What is a predicate? The predicate of a sentence tells us what the subject is doing or what the subject is. For example, Roshan bought ice cream. The subject in the sentence is Roshan. What did the subject Roshan do? He bought ice cream. So, bought ice cream is the predicate here. Another example, Gokila is the captain of this team. In this sentence, Gokila is the subject and the predicate here is, is the captain of this team because it tells us what Gokila is. So, the part which shows what the subject is, predicate. Always remember, without a subject or a predicate, the sentence would be incomplete. Let's see how. Study hard for the test. Does the sentence make any sense? No. This is an incomplete sentence because who studied for the test is not mentioned here. The subject is missing. Let's add the subject students here. Students studied hard for the test. Now the sentence gives complete sense. So, without a subject, one cannot make a sentence. Another example, my mom. Is this a sentence? No. This sentence only has subject and it doesn't have a predicate. It doesn't tell what my mom is or what did she do. It doesn't give any information about the subject. So, this sentence is incomplete. Let's add predicate to the subject. My mom cooks well. Now, this is a complete sentence. So, without a predicate, a sentence cannot be made. So, a subject and a predicate make a sentence. Only when the subject and the predicate are joined, a sentence can be formed. Hope you have understood well, let me see how far you have understood. Here I have certain questions. Divide the part of subject and the part of predicate using the symbol slash. And you can check out the answers after 30 seconds. Leave your answers in comment section.
Thank you. Have a great day.